October 2025. Astronomers thought they knew what to expect until the European Space Agency's Mars orbiters released unprecedented images of Comet 3Y-Atlas, an object so rare even NASA is re-evaluating what's possible. Only three true interstellar comets have ever been seen, but this one, potentially older than our solar system, swept past Mars just close enough for ExoMars and Mars Express to lock on. The first public glimpse threw the scientific community into a frenzy, a faint otherworldly coma against the Martian backdrop, defying estimates of what these spacecraft could capture. Why was this photo so explosive? And what secrets are still hidden in the data as experts scramble to decode 3i slash Atlas's alien origins? Within hours of the European Space Agency publishing the first ExoMars images, the world's scientific networks erupted. The photos, released without fanfare on the European Space Agency's official channels, showed a faint blurry dot gliding across the star field. A comet, but not just any comet. This was 3 i slash Atlas, an interstellar wanderer caught in the act by cameras orbiting Mars. What made the images electric wasn't their clarity, but their very existence. The ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter's camera, CAS-IS, was designed for bright Martian landscapes, not objects tens of millions of kilometers away. Yet here was proof, a fuzzy white halo, the unmistakable signature of a cometary coma, drifting against the black. In research labs from Pasadena to Munich, astronomers dropped routine work and began dissecting every pixel. Social feeds and private forums filled with raw frames, overexposed cutouts, and animated GIFs stacking the comet's motion frame by frame. The comet's nucleus, hidden deep within the haze, was too small and distant for any hope of resolution, comparable to spotting a cell phone on the moon from Earth. But the coma, thousands of kilometers wide, was visible. Its brightness, though faint, was undeniable. And the fact that it appeared at all stunned even seasoned mission planners. The European Space Agency's press office was soon overwhelmed with requests for comment. NASA teams, used to being at the center of such discoveries, found themselves poring over European data. The question on everyone's mind, how had a spacecraft built for Mars geology managed to capture an interstellar, interstellar visitor so far away? The answer lay in a combination of luck, technical improvisation, and a willingness to interrupt routine science for a once-in-a-generation event. For the first time, the world was seeing direct evidence of a comet that began its journey long before Earth or the Sun existed, now immortalized in a handful of digital frames. On the evening of July 1, 2025, a faint streak appeared in the data stream from the Atlas Telescope in Rio Hurtado, Chile. The observer on shift flagged it as unusual. Its path didn't match any known asteroid or comet. Within minutes, the system calculated a trajectory that was not just steeply inclined, but hyperbolic, indicating the object was moving too fast to be bound by the sun. The alert triggered a rapid sequence, confirmation from a second Atlas facility, then a cascade of emails to survey teams and planetary scientists worldwide. The designation came quickly. 3i slash Atlas, the third interstellar comet ever detected by humanity. The discovery sent a ripple through the astronomical community. For centuries, every comet cataloged had belonged to our own solar system, shaped by the same ancient disk of gas and dust that formed Earth. But interstellar comets are true outsiders. Their origins lie in distant planetary systems, ejected by gravitational encounters and set adrift for billions of years. 3i slash Atlas joined a list that, until a few years ago, had only one entry, 1i slash Oumuamua in 2017, followed by 2i slash Borisov in 2019. Each was a singular event, a cosmic message in a bottle from another star. The Atlas team, funded to guard Earth from potential impacts, found themselves at the center of a far larger story. Their automated survey, designed to catch objects on collision courses, had instead caught a messenger from deep time. The initial data suggested something even more remarkable. This comet might be older than the solar system itself, possibly by three billion years. Its hyperbolic path, 
calculated from dozens of follow-up observations, left no doubt. This was not a wanderer returning home, but a visitor passing through, a relic from a time and place no human instrument has ever seen. As word spread, astronomers scrambled to secure observation time on telescopes across the globe. The window to study such an object is always brief, and the chance to capture its passage near Mars was a rare alignment. The urgency was not just scientific, but historical. To witness an interstellar comet is to glimpse the raw material of worlds beyond our own, unchanged since before the Sun was born. Between October 1st and 7th, 2025, Mars orbiter teams found themselves with a rare vantage point. The geometry was almost perfect as Comet 3 I Atlas swept through the inner solar system. Its path brought it to within 30 million kilometers of Mars on October 3rd. For planetary scientists, this was a fleeting corridor of opportunity. Just a handful of days when Mars and the comet aligned close enough for detailed observation, yet far enough from the sun's glare to avoid overwhelming the sensors. Mission planners at ESA weighed the odds. Neither ExoMars TGO nor Mars Express was built for deep space astronomy. Their cameras and spectrometers are tuned for the ruddy surface of Mars, not faint, moving targets drifting tens of millions of kilometers away. But orbital mechanics offered something ground-based telescopes could not, a direct, unobstructed line of sight to an interstellar visitor. With minimal atmospheric interference and the ability to schedule extended observation runs across multiple orbits, the timing was critical. The comet's closest approach to Mars would last only hours, with its apparent brightness peaking as it slipped past the planet's orbit. For the Cassius team on ExoMars TGO, this meant recalculating pointing commands and exposure schedules on short notice. Mars Express, facing stricter technical limits, had to maximize every available second within its 0.5-second exposure window. Both teams coordinated to cover as much of the opportunity as possible, knowing that once the comet moved on, the chance would never return. This narrow window, just seven days, became a test of operational agility. Every observation had to be meticulously planned. With spacecraft attitude, instrument cooling, and data bandwidth all factored against the demands of routine Mars science. For a brief moment, the Red Planet's orbiters became the most important comet chasers in the solar system, tasked with capturing evidence of a traveler from beyond the Sun's domain. The results would depend not just on hardware, but on the split-second timing and technical improvisation of teams working around the clock. Five-second exposures, stacked and aligned with surgical precision, turned what should have been background noise into unmistakable evidence. The CASIS camera aboard ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter was not built for this kind of work. Its detectors were calibrated for the sunlit canyons and dust storms of Mars, not for a comet 30 million kilometers away. Yet frame after frame, the team pushed CASIS to its limits, capturing a series of images that, when combined, revealed the faint shifting glow of three atlases' coma, a halo of gas and dust thousands of kilometers wide, drifting across the star field. The process was demanding. Each image was carefully registered on the predicted path of the comet, with cosmic rays and stray pixels filtered out. By stacking dozens of these long exposures, the random noise faded and the persistent features sharpened. What remained was a fuzzy white dot, moving exactly as predicted, proof that the interstellar visitor was real and that the gamble had paid off. Principal investigator Nick Thomas described the challenge in plain terms. This was a very challenging observation for the instrument. The comet is around 10,000 to 100,000 times fainter than our usual target. The technical team adapted both hardware and software on the fly, recalibrating the camera's settings and repurposing mission routines to chase a target never meant for Cassis's lens. The nucleus itself, no more than a kilometer wide, remained hidden, lost in the glare of its own coma. But the halo, built from ice and dust released as the comet drew closer to the sun, 
was visible in the stacked images. The brightness dropped off quickly, and the full extent of the coma faded into the background. Yet for the first time, a spacecraft orbiting Mars had captured direct evidence of an interstellar comet. The result was more than a technical success. It was a statement about the power of improvisation, teamwork, and the willingness to risk routine science for a shot at discovery. Mars Express entered the campaign with a very different set of tools and constraints. Its visual monitoring camera, originally designed for engineering snapshots, faced a hard ceiling. No exposure could run longer than half a second. For astronomers chasing a comet 30 million kilometers away, this was a severe handicap. Every frame captured was dominated by noise, the faint signal from 3i slash Atlas nearly drowned out by the background. Unlike the CASIS camera on ExoMars TGO, which could stretch to five-second integrations, Mars Express had to make do with a tenth of the light per image. The imaging team refused to give up. Their solution was to take as many exposures as possible, then co-add the data, aligning and stacking dozens, even hundreds of frames, in search of a persistent trace. In theory, stacking increases sensitivity, letting real signals rise above the random static. In practice, the process is painstaking. Each image must be precisely registered on the predicted comet path, with cosmic ray hits and hot pixels filtered out. The team's pipeline borrowed techniques from deep sky astrophotography, adapting them for a spacecraft orbiting a moving planet. Even with these efforts, the challenge remained steep. The coma of 3i slash Atlas, though thousands of kilometers wide, faded quickly into the noise. The short exposures meant that any trace of the comet's tail, already much dimmer than the coma, was out of reach. Still, the analysts pressed on, running algorithms to combine and search every possible stack. Their work is ongoing, with hopes that a faint signal might yet be coaxed from the data. While Mars Express could not match the raw sensitivity of ExoMars TGO, its team demonstrated another kind of ingenuity, pushing aging hardware to its absolute limits and refusing to let a rare interstellar visitor pass by unnoticed. Spectroscopy teams on both Mars Express and ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter prepared for a different kind of challenge, measuring the chemical makeup of 3i slash Atlas as it swept past Mars. This was not a routine scan of Martian minerals or atmosphere. The task called for Omega and SpyCam on Mars Express and Nomad on TGO to probe a target so faint it barely registered above the background. Each instrument tuned its detectors to wavelengths where cometary gases have left their fingerprints in past encounters. Carbon dioxide, water vapor, cyanogen. These were the lines the teams hoped to catch, each carrying a story from another star system. But the data arriving on the ground told a more uncertain story. The coma and tail of 3i slash Atlas, already faint in visible light, were even harder to separate from the Martian night sky in the infrared and ultraviolet. The spectrometer's integration times, set for Mars's bright surface or thick atmosphere, struggled to accumulate enough signal from a diffuse cloud 30 million kilometers away. In single exposures, the spectra showed little more than noise oh, and the familiar signature of Mars itself. Stacking hundreds of frames became the only way forward, an effort to tease out any real trace from the static. Even after co-adding, the results left more questions than answers. Some hints of broad features appeared, but nothing rose far enough above the noise to claim a detection. The teams debated whether a faint bump was a real emission from the comet or just a statistical fluctuation. Mars's own atmospheric glow, especially in the infrared, complicated background subtraction. Each group ran new calibrations, checked for stray light, and compared their stacks to archival comet spectra. The conclusion, if 3i slash Atlas was releasing gas, it was doing so at a level just at or below the edge of what these instruments could detect. The search continues with deep stacking and new algorithms, but for now the composition of this interstellar visitor remains an open question. Its chemistry still hidden, waiting for a clearer signal.
Inside ESA Mission Control, the decision to turn Mars orbiters away from their usual routines did not come lightly. Every hour spent tracking 3i slash Atlas meant less time devoted to Mars geology, climate, and atmosphere. Core priorities for both ExoMars TGO and Mars Express. The teams weighed the odds. A once-in-a-generation interstellar visitor, faint enough to test the limits of their instruments, but too rare to ignore. Arguments unfolded in late-night calls and urgent emails. Some pressed to protect ongoing Mars campaigns, while others pushed for flexibility, convinced that even a slim chance at imaging the comet was worth the disruption. Bandwidth, power, and thermal budgets were recalculated line by line. Schedules shifted. Instrument teams prepared for unfamiliar commands and longer exposures, knowing it would mean extra calibration work later. Colin Wilson, project scientist for both orbiters, Put it simply, though our Mars orbiters continue to make impressive contributions to Mars science, it's always extra exciting to see them responding to unexpected situations like this one. I look forward to seeing what the data reveals following further analysis. That spirit of adaptability defined the moment. The choice was not just technical, but deeply human. A willingness to set aside routine in pursuit of something extraordinary. For a few days, the orbiters became comet hunters. Their cameras and spectrometers aimed not at the red planet below, but at a ghostly traveler from another star. The gamble would be measured in faint pixels and uncertain spectra, but also in the pride of knowing that, when the universe sent a message from deep time, the team was ready to listen. Next month, attention shifts to the Jupiter Icy Moon's explorer, JUICE. This spacecraft orbiting far beyond Mars will aim its suite of cameras and spectrometers at 3i slash Atlas just after the comet's closest approach to the Sun. While JUICE will be farther from the comet than the Mars orbiters were, the timing is critical. By then, 3i slash Atlas will be more active, its coma and tail swollen by solar heat, potentially revealing new details about its chemistry and structure. Data from this encounter are expected to arrive in February 2026, delayed by the long transmission times and careful calibration required for such faint moving targets. Plans for the next leap forward are already underway. ESA's Comet Interceptor mission, scheduled for launch in 2029, is designed to wait in space for the perfect opportunity, a pristine comet from the Oort cloud, or, if fortune favors, another interstellar visitor like 3i slash Atlas. Unlike previous missions, Comet Interceptor will not chase a known target from launch. Instead, it will linger in a stable orbit, ready to spring into action when a suitable object is discovered. This rapid response strategy reflects lessons learned from the fleeting windows offered by objects like Oumuamua, Borisov, and now Atlas. For the scientists behind JUICE and Comet Interceptor, the message is clear. The era of passive observation is ending. The pace of discovery is accelerating, and so is the need for missions that can pivot quickly when the universe sends a rare visitor. Each new interstellar object opens a door to the unknown, and the world's space agencies are determined not to miss the next knock. On October 3, 2025, ESA's ExoMars orbiter captured images of Comet 3Y slash Atlas from 30 million kilometers away, marking humanity's closest look yet at our third known interstellar visitor. The CASIS camera revealed a faint kilometer-wide nucleus shrouded by a coma spanning thousands of kilometers. Even as the comet appeared 10,000 to 100,000 times dimmer than Mars. Despite these breakthroughs, Mars Express's imaging and spectrometer data remain under analysis, and the exact composition of 3i slash Atlas is still unknown. As scientists continue to process images and spectra, the next chapter will be written by ESA's JUICE spacecraft in early 2026 and the launch of Comet Interceptor in 2029. The rapid response to this rare event shows how international teams adapt to fleeting opportunities for discovery. For now, 3i slash Atlas reminds us that our solar system is part of a much larger story, one that is still unfolding one image and one observation at a time.